internet family, Dan here from dancetube.tv and today we have a review on the GoPro Hero 7 Black. This is being recorded right now on the GoPro Hero 7 Black, so you're getting the audio and the video from the Hero 7 Black. Before I jump into the video, make sure to check out MJ Creamy's channel, who's behind the camera right now. Come on in, mate. <laughs> and Ian from Aussie Tech. Yeah. Hey! I, will have, woo, I have links in the description below. You can pick up the GoPro Hero 7 Black right now on Amazon for 399 US dollars. This is actually a really good price considering they've adjusted their pricing recently for the brand new release of the Hero 7 range. And now the Hero 7 Black, which is the flagship device, their high-end device, is now 399 US dollars. So it's definitely a lot more affordable than their previous flagship cameras. The first thing you'll notice about the Hero 7 Black is that they've finally made the camera black. It's not a silver or a grey anymore and it's not the exact same colour as previous models. It's finally got a black finish to it and it actually looks really elegant. I'm glad that they've created different colours now for their Hero 7 range and that's something that I'm really happy to see finally from GoPro. I also love how prominent the Hero 7 black text is on the camera and on the housing as well. And another thing to note is that it's the same body with the 10 meter waterproof capabilities of the Hero 5 and the Hero 6. The Hero 7 Black can shoot in a variety of different resolutions from 720p all the way up to 4K and everything in between. So you can shoot 1080p, 2.7K and 4K. And when you're shooting 4K 60 frames per second, this brand new hyper smooth feature is still available. So you get buttery smooth gimbal like footage at 4K 60 frames per second, and honestly, it looks amazing. This is something that I have never seen in an action camera before, and especially from an action camera that's using a digital image stabilization instead of an optical image stabilization. So that means that they're doing this purely from the software on its own. There's no sort of mechanism that's stabilizing the footage, there's no sort of motors like in gimbals or any other crazy technology. It's purely from the software and they've done an amazing job of creating gimbal-like footage by tweaking the software and the way that the camera adjusts to different movements and different environmental factors. The 7 Black can also shoot in 1080p at a staggering 240 frames per second, so that is eight times slow-mo. But in this mode here, you don't have any stabilization, so that's a bit of a bummer. And another note to mention when you're shooting 240 frames per second 1080p or 4K 60 frames per second, then it will use the codec H265. And for me, I was having some issues on my PC. I had to actually encode all of the footage before I edited it or even viewed it on any sort of media player. But for some reason, it worked quite well on Final Cut. So it's probably just one of those things that will get optimized over time and it will be a lot more efficient. But for now, that's just something to note. It can be a little bit of a pain if you need to encode the footage. If you want to avoid this issue for now, then just shoot everything in 4K 30. You'll still get that hyper smooth and it will just be filmed in the H.264, which is heavily supported on basically every platform. That would probably be the most efficient way to do it at the moment. I was actually really impressed with the Hero 6 Black stabilization. I felt like that was a big leap from Go. Pro in terms of its stabilization and its action cameras, but with Hyper Smooth now, it's that next level. It's almost gimbal like. And yes, you still get those moments where you'll get jarring or jumpy shots, but that's more so on the user. If you're moving too fast, then it's not going to be able to account for those movements. But if you're doing something reasonable, then it will do an amazing job. And we tested it on an electric skateboard and it did a fantastic job. We did basic movements, jogging, walking, running, and a few other things. And it honestly performed really well. And for everyday use, it's going to be fantastic. The footage is just unbelievably smooth. I've also been really impressed with GoPro's color science this time around. The image definitely does pop. You have vibrant colors, you have sharp images, and it does adapt really well to different environments. So I feel that they've done a really great job here. And I was impressed with the Hero 6 Black's colors, but this time they've just 
smoothed it out and it does seem a little bit more improved from the Hero 6 Black again. So the Hero 7 Black is just a really good all-round camera. It's not just for action, it can genuinely be a vlogging camera or it can be something that you use for everyday use and it does a great job as just a standalone camera. But the fact that it's so small and capable of amazing action shots is a bonus on top of that. One of the coolest new things about the 7 Black is this new time warp mode. And it's basically a time lapse feature that enables the hyper smooth shots while you're walking along the street or doing whatever you have to do, whether that's on a bike, in a car, whatever that is, and it will actually stitch together a time lapse for you automatically on the GoPro without any sort of editing. So it creates super smooth time lapse footage while you're out and about doing your daily functioning or doing something really fun. And to me, that's a really cool, useful feature to have in a GoPro. This camera also offers live streaming options, although they are very limited at the moment, and I'm sure they will be improved in the future with software updates. At the moment, you can stream to Facebook, and you do have the option to stream to YouTube, but it is a process. You need to include the link and then go into the back end of your YouTube account. And it is a whole process if you want to live stream. It's not as simple as just going on the GoPro and then live streaming. Also, other people have complained about the fact that they have to then hotspot their phone to the GoPro and it's not a seamless process like you would expect. But live streaming is available. And from what I've seen, when it works, it works really well. As you heard from the beginning of the video, the audio is actually pretty decent in the Hero 7 Black. Black. It's definitely an improvement from the Hero 6 Black, and I was impressed with the audio, although unfortunately there was a fair bit of wind in this random little area we were in, so it did ruin the audio a bit, but I've been impressed with the audio so far, and it seems to work really well. I also noticed that voice control doesn't seem to be as responsive as you would like it to be, and this has kind of always been an issue. It works, but it's very selective in its hearing. If you are looking for photo options from a GoPro, then this GoPro can shoot 12 megapixel photos, and it has this super photo mode, which is an automated mode that basically applies HDR, tone mapping, or noise reduction, depending on the scene. The only other thing to discuss is the brand new user interface. And I think the user interface is clean and simple to use, although it has been very buggy and laggy as of late, and this could be the fact that it's brand new and it's something that they've only really just released, it definitely will improve with software updates. You will find that it is a little bit delayed when you try to swap between modes or even view the footage, but when it works, it works. So I'm definitely keen to see them improve this experience and have a really functional and easy to use interface for users. So overall, the GoPro Hero 7 Black is a fantastic addition from the GoPro team. They've created something that is honestly mind-blowing and the stabilization from the hyper smooth mode is just unbelievable. It's crazy to see gimbal-like footage on a GoPro and it's one of the areas that I've really wanted to see GoPro improve so I'm glad that they've done that and honestly it's something that you really have to see to believe and hopefully this footage does display how smooth the actual footage is from the GoPro. So if you're looking for an upgrade, this is definitely a fantastic upgrade as the price has been dropped from the previous GoPro. So you could even sell your Hero 6 and then probably only have to put a little bit of money towards the brand new Hero 7 Black. So if you're in the market for a new GoPro, then this could be the one for you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this video and have a fantastic day. Peace out.